My friend Brucey has a business proposition for us. You going to pay me to pump him full of steroids and tell him how great his abs are? No, he can take care of that all by himself. Brucey is a major motorhead. He's going to send you emails about all the cars he wants, and you're going to get them for him. What are you going to do? Come on! I made the introduction! I'm the manager, man! Go check your emails, Nico. Let's hang out soon, okay? Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Intergames. This is part 19 of Grand Theft Auto 4 on the Xbox 360. Backwards compatible on the Xbox One, in case you were didn't know that. Right, we are going to do the next mission for Faustin. And, uh, yeah, so that was the bit. Um, now we have to find a certain number of cars for Brucey. It's a side mission, we don't have to do it. Um... I'll keep a lookout if I remember, but uh, at the moment I don't have to do it. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's a map online of where they are. Unless I'm thinking, that, no, there's this one for Stevie. I can't remember if that's the Brucey ones are ones where you literally just have to go and and he tells you exactly where they are anyway. Anyway, right, let's do this mission for Fauston. In fact, I'll look that up while the mission cutscene is happening. Hello? Hello. Uh, is Mikael home? No, he's out. Okay. Uh, should I wait outside? No, no, come in. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Sit down. Thank you. You want some tea? Sure. Mikhail doesn't let me use this anymore. Says it makes us look like barbarians. Uncivilized. Like immigrants. Oh, yeah? I know what you're thinking. It is a bit funny coming from him. <laughs> he did not used to be like this. When we were young, at home, he was beautiful. He was happy. He made me happy. But um, then something changed years ago. I never quite knew what it was. So many years I wondered what it was or what was wrong with me that I did not see it in him. Or I changed him. Life is complicated. I, I never thought I'd live like this. No? When the war came, I did bad things. And after the war, I thought nothing of doing bad things. I killed people. Smuggled people, sold people. And you don't worry about your soul? <sighs> After you walk into a village and you see 50 children all sitting neatly in a row against the church wall, each with their throats cut and their hands chopped off, you realize that the creature that could do this doesn't have a soul. God is very complicated. You mustn't give up hope. Huh. Well, I don't know about that. Привет, Лена. Привет, Дима. What is that? Uh... I tell you one thing and you ignore me! Uh... You stupid uh... bitch! <laughs> Nico Bellic, baby. Good to see you. Hey, you too. Uh... What did you want? Uh... I want you to teach people to listen to You me. want him to get us the money. Fuck the money. Mikhail, please calm down. We're already in a lot of trouble. I don't know if I can smooth things over with Petrovic. Fuck him and fuck you. Who are you, my daddy? Get the fuck out of my house. Mikhail! Get out! So, what do you want? This prig who owes me money owns a garage in Chase Point. I want you to pick up a truck and take it to him. Call me when you get to the truck. It's in Schuttler on Montauk Avenue. Go. Get out of here. Right, 
let's go and get the truck. And we'll take this uh, Sentinel over here. Well, we would if the... Well, car alarm, great. <laughs> Let's hope this uh, goes off before we leave the neighbourhood. There we go, right. Because obviously there's a police officer here, so we don't... Oh, the would be despawned. I'm pretty sure when we went in earlier, there was actually a police officer there. I love how looking at the GTA Wiki on my phone is giving me an advert for some sort of Sonic game. Or the movie, I think. Uh, oh no, it's something called The Loop, whatever that is. Don't care. <laughs> I, just, I can see it in the corner of my eye because it's on my phone. <sighs> in, I, I hate that, man. I hate when you get like stupid ads. Like that you don't care about. Right, let's get this uh let's get this truck. I was hoping it was gonna be a cutscene so I could move my phone, but uh oh, I missed it apparently. <laughs> Didn't go down the right alleyway. It's here. Right. Let me get in the uh truck and then just turn off my phone. Oh, there is a cutscene. Mr. Faustin, I have the truck. Drive it over to the garage on the corner of Guantanamo and Windmill. Park up inside. Sure. What am I delivering? When it's inside, because they explode. It should blow up good. Maybe you'll be careful on the drive over. It's pretty volatile stuff. Explosive? What the fuck? Calculating route. Right, well, I guess we've got to drive carefully. <laughs> Yeah, I realised I was on the wrong side of the road, but you wouldn't want to be anywhere near this thing, officer. <laughs> yeah, drive carefully as we overtake everyone. And we've got to pay the toll, because obviously the cops will uh, try and get in a pursuit if we don't. I'm assuming that a uh, green thing on the like on the back door of the truck is telling us the health of the bomb. Cuz this is the era when they were like, "Oh, we don't need uh We don't need hoods and graphical displays no we can just have it as part of like the vehicles and stuff and that'll look that'll look cool I remember that being a thing early on in this generation of games do you mind moving right Am I going to pay the toll? There we go. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure I had driven up to the pay kiosk, but whatever. I could have gone the long way around, I think, through Bohan, but... Like, over that way, but... That bridge over there that's really blurry. Yeah, that's a scripted uh, phone call. In case that wasn't obvious, it happens every single time. Do you mind? Oh, apologies if you can hear my neighbour there. <laughs> right, let's uh, try and get around this really sharp corner that exists for some reason. 
in this thing. God, it's... Oh, look, it's our house that we're going to move into, our new safe house. Right, let's park inside the garage. Oh, do I need to be in the vehicle to... Oh, yeah, I need to be in the vehicle to trigger it. Right, okay. And then that just literally activates the cutscene. I would move out the way, people. I think that guy might be dead. Trying to get out of the area. Uh, well, I would steal the car, but there's a cop car behind it. Oh, there we go. I guess that's out of the area enough. Take this, uh, was this a faction? I think I've blown the place up, but don't pull that shit on me again. Maybe I don't want to drive around while sitting on an atom bomb. I thought you were the ice cold killer. I thought nothing scares you, man. Pussy, hasn't anyone got any balls? You and Dimitri, you'd be nothing without me. Nothing. This is how you treat me. All right. Oh, well. Yeah, let's steal this car while well, no one's here. Oh, well, the cop was right there. <laughs> Again, they don't seem to see anything. <laughs> right. Well, I've been Rob Appin from the Insane Gamers. This has been part 19 of Grand Theft Auto 4. Thank you very much for watching, and ta -ra. Nico, it's Roman. Who's talking to Brucey? That's Roy's monkey? He is a good friend of mine. He'll be a good friend of yours, too, if you let him. Anyway. He's got some work, and we are in need of money. Meet him at Brucey's Executive Auto on Mohanad in East Hook. If Mallory calls you, we are bowling together. See you later.